Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstoday.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh. So students, today we are doing the fourth lecture for Banking Regulation Act 1949. So already we have done 30 questions. These questions are now done. Today we are going to do it guess, nine questions. No other questions are going to be done. So stay with us. Let's start the session with the question number one. IBPS RRB Scale 2 Scale 3 course is available on bankexamstoday.com. Students, you can join uh, on bankexamstoday.com. The course is available on our Android and iOS apps. Just go to bankexamstoday.com. You're going to find video classes, notes, quizzes, test series, power capsule, and interview preparation guide. So everything is available on bankexamstoday.com. The link is available in the description. Please check. The question number one, <clears throat> which authority is responsible for prescribing the forms, content and manner of the verification of accounts in the balance sheet of a banking company as per section 31 of the Banking Regulation Act. RBI is responsible. RBI he prescribe karta hai forms, right? So RBI prescribes the forms. So B is the correct answer. <coughs> According to the section 12 sub subsection 2 of the Banking Regulation Act 1949, no banking company shall issue which kind of the share, which kind of uh, preference share, irredeemable, cumulative, convertible, participating and any of the above. As per the section 12, subsection 2, uh, <coughs> irredeemable or perpetual, jiska koi maturity date hi nahi hai, aisa koi bhi preference share issue nahi karna chahiye. No preference share should be issued, which has no uh, which has no uh, maturity date. Okay, so first one A is the correct answer. Let me just hide myself so that you can watch it clearly. This means preference shares must have a maturity date. A banking company issuing preference shares must have a fixed maturity date. That is important. A is the correct answer. Which of the following? Uh, which of the following is the ratio between? authorized subscribed and paid up capital as per section 12 subsection 1 uh, of banking regulation act 1949 ratio is there ratio between authorized subscribed and paid up capital this ratio is 4 by 2 by 1 authorized capital should be if authorized capital is 4 subscribe should be 1 paid up capital should be uh, <coughs> subscribe should be 2 paid up should be 1 subscribed capital should be half of authorized and paid up capital should be half of subscribed okay so ye diya hua hai section 12 subsection 1 mein that the subscribed capital of the company is not less than one half of the authorized capital and paid up capital is not less than one half of the subscribed capital uh, why it is required to make sure that the banking company has enough uh, capital with them and the depositors money is safe right <clears throat> according to section 9 of the banking regulation act if a banking company fails to dispose of any immovable property within the period specified within the extended period granted by the rbi rbi may uh, direct the bank or the banking company to sell the property by public auction so uh, buying and selling Immovable property is not a business of a banking company. Property sale purchase karna aur usme se paise banana ek banking company ka business nahi hai. So if a bank is holding uh, a property for a long period, the RBI may ask the bank to sell off the property. The only case the bank can hold a property is uh, for its own usage. For own usage. Agar bank ne khud use karna hai, bank ne apna head office banana hai, in that case the bank can uh, keep that particular property in other cases in other cases uh, the bank cannot hold the property for its business so, so property ka business nahi hai sell the property by public auction karna padega theek hai <coughs> for a long time nahi kar sakte kyunki core business banking company ka banking hi hai uh, further according to section 9 same section banking regulation act no banking company shall hold any immovable property However, uh, howsoever acquired except such as is required for its own use. Apne use ke liye they can keep for any period exceeding seven years. Saad saal se zyada nahi rak sakte from the date of acquisition. No matter what, no matter by which reason they have acquired it within seven years, within 
you know, seven years, they need to dispose it off. Okay. As per section nine of Banking Regulation Act, 1949. Seven years may dispose karna zaruri hai. Which of the following is an example of an approved security under section 24 of Banking Regulation Act? So a bond issued uh, can be the one debenture share old uh, share or the CD or a mutual fund. They are not a bond issued by the state government or the T bills by the government of India. They are the one they are the approved security as per Banking Regulation Act. According to the section 26 uh, subsection A, the Banking Regulation Act 1949, the money transfer to the depositors education and awareness fund shall be utilized for promoting the depositors in trust, which is correct. Uh, providing financial assistance to the depositors in distress, correct. Supporting financial inclusion and literacy initiatives, any other purpose as may be specified by the RBI. So all of these are the correct answers. Okay. So in this case, purpose ke liye bhi use kiya ja sakta hai. Main purpose is to promote depositors interest and awareness. Depositor ke liye awareness phailana. Uh, awareness uh, badhana hai, badhava dena awareness ko. Uh, depositors education and awareness for the banking services. That is the goal. After how many days RBI will, this is a really important question. So under section 35, see under section 35, the RBI uh, under section 35 of Banking Regulation Act of the BR Act, the RBI can uh, RBI can get information from banks, RBI can get certain information can ask for certain information from banks. And if in the public interest, it is important that the public should know that information. Agar कुछ ऐसा information है जो public को पता होना चाहिए, कुछ भी public interest में है, कि the, the people should know about that, so the RBI is going to notify the bank that give us clarification, हमें please clarification दीजिए, and RBI gives some time, RBI कुछ time देता है, dash days, उसके बाद RBI is going to make that information public, 21 days का time दिया जाता है, RBI give 21 days of time to the bank. After that, the RBI is going to make the, uh, you know, uh, information public. Section 35K under Banking Regulation Act ke under, kuch aisa information RBI ko mil gaya. Jisse uh, bank ki, you know, uh, image kharaab ho sakti hai, public image kharaab ho sakti hai. Uh, so RBI in the public interest, the RBI should disclose that to the public. But RBI ek opportunity deta hai bank ko, we are giving you 21 days give us a clarification. So if RBI is not getting getting a satisfactory uh, clarification, the RBI is going to make that information public. So students, that's all. So we are completing the Banking Regulation Act Valley uh, quizzes. Already we have taught uh, the um, uh, the whole uh, ses uh, section in that uh, bankexamstudy.com. Pura amne clarifications kare hoi on bankexamstudy.com. ये कुछ एक क्वेश्चंस हैं कुछ एक आपके अमेंडमेंट में से काफी सारे क्वेश्चंस हमने करे हैं अ लॉट ऑफ अमेंडमेंट्स आर देयर मे बी आई हैव नॉट टॉट इट बट इन द क्वेश्चन फॉर्मेट मैंने आई गेस 38 क्वेश्चन मैंने कर दिए हैं सो प्लीज गो थ्रू देम दीस क्वेश्चंस आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आल्सो गो थ्रू द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चंस आईबीपीएस आरआरबी स्केल 2 स्केल 3 जीबीओ 2022 2023 कोर्स इट्स अवेलेबल ऑन बैंक and link to all the previous questions and we have a playlist a playlist humne banai hai please go through all the previous sessions i guess now right now there are 20 sessions 20 similar sessions are available uh, for free even if you don't want to join the course right now in the future you may join but right now you may uh, watch the free sessions uh, and if there is any doubt in your mind this is our whatsapp number where you can ask your doubts uh, list of all our successful students in the past, all these students that took our courses in the past for G GBO scale 2, scale 3 in 2022, 2021, 2020, 20, PNBS. So all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them. If there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts. So that's all. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.